Alright guys, uh, Skoglass here. I finally got a uh, little bit of extra time to uh, display my uh, setup currently. Um, I am using a, a GTT Lynx right now. Um, I will be upgrading to uh, probably a Mirage, I would imagine. Um, but I wanted to mainly show you my oxygen setup. Um, I have two um, the available oxygen generators. There's the number there if you want to call Dave. He's the man. Um, he's a pretty good dude. Um, these are two 10 liter machines. Um, I have them running at about 9 liters a piece uh, just to keep the purity real, real high. Um, I have a 30 gallon storage tank. Um, and I have a solenoid valve that this is the oxygen inlet right here. Um, basically, when when the pump is not on, the extra air can come out of here. I, I have this on here just to quiet it down. It's not really filtering anything. Um, but when the pump does turn on, this valve closes, and all the oxygen just goes into the pump and then out down into here. Um, I am going to get compression fittings for this. I just have not had time. I will probably do that this week. Um, like this. This is a compression fitting right there for the unloader valve that I have going into the pressure switch so when it shuts off all the extra air between here and the pump head can be released. Um, the pump I'm using is a gassed um, MX or one hab MX 100 or M 100 X. Um, this thing's actually from 1979. It runs great. I did rebuild the cylinder with a $50 rebuild kit. It only took a couple different, uh, took me about an hour to do. Um, works great. Um, I have that all hooked up in here. The only thing that's really hooked up to this pressure switch itself is my box. Um, it's a relay box that turns everything on um, which we'll get to now. Um, the the motor is actually just kinda wired together in here. It's just one continuous wire. But um, So this box here, when you turn it on, it greets you. It'll turn one concentrator on wait a desired amount of time, turn the other one on, which it just did, and then after it does that, it turns the boosters on um, at a desired time, so the oxygen concentrators, which we can now see that are on and running. feed into here basically they need to get up to a good concentration so I give them about five minutes um, I can feel the air coming out right now um, give them about a good five minutes to build up some pressure once it's, or build up uh, O2 purity once it's uh, pure enough this will automatically kick on my pump and from there it's uh, it's good um, Right now, my pressure is probably at, it's real low, it's at 20, I have it, I just turned it on right now for the first time today. Um, it'll go all the way to 90 PSI, um, you could set it really anywhere, I mean, depending on the pressure switch that you get. Um, I have mine turning on at 9, or turning on at 70 and off at 90. Uh, from here, I just have a little filter just to make sure that there's nothing really going to my torch and my regulator regulator like usual um, and it, it's really gonna be a couple more minutes here for this to kick on so I'll see you guys in a couple seconds well I guess while we're waiting I mean I do get enough pressure you know if it if you really need need the pressure it's it's there. <laughs> um, 
you know. Um, this thing here also, um, it can control six concentrators and two boosters. I got this uh, this unit from a member on Talk Glass or uh, the Melting Pot um, forms. Um, really, really awesome gentlemen. Um, very good, very good uh, people. Um, but yeah, um, I put this whole thing together myself uh, with a little bit of help, you know, from a couple uh, members. Um, you know, Low Tides video definitely uh, helped out a lot. I do recommend doing your research. Um, there are a lot of incompatibilities when it does come to oxygen. Um, you want to make sure that you're using compatible materials and um, no oil. Everything needs to be oil free. Oil will explode under um, full oxygen concentration and pressure. Um, this got about 20 more seconds to go here. So um, I'm still tweaking with the times to get it just right. Um, but right now, the, the time that I have it set out to seems to work. It might be a little long. I might bump it down to about three minutes. Um, but we'll find out here in a couple seconds. It should turn on any second now. And now there's no air coming out of here any longer because this has turned on now. Uh, they closed the valve. My pump's pumping, it's going to fill it up, um, my torch is still going. I don't have to touch anything. When it gets to 100 PSI, it'll shut itself off. Hope you guys have a great day.